All right, now to a News 4 exclusive. We're getting a new look tonight at the thieves stealing hundreds of bulletproof vests that were meant to be shipped to Ukraine to save lives. News 4's Mark Santia's live force in the East Village now with this video you're going to only see on News 4. Mark? And Adam, those ballistic vests were stolen from this building here in Manhattan. Now, detectives are still looking for those vests, but we're told they were last seen in Brooklyn. Trash bag after trash bag hauled away on the streets of New York City. Inside these bags, law enforcement sources tell News 4 it's life-saving gear destined for the men and women of Ukraine. Never did we think someone would do something like that. News 4 has obtained new and exclusive video of the March heist at the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America here in Manhattan. It's shocking. Uh, we were in disbelief. Suffolk County Police donated 400 ballistic vests. Ivanka Sajak says the vests were going to nurses and doctors caring for civilians in and around Kyiv, not for soldiers on the front lines. Put yourself in the place of a person, a doctor, and you want them to take care of you, but they're not able to because they're hurt. Because without the doctors and the nurses to help the injured, they wouldn't get the help. So we decided it's time to protect the, the, the medical people. The vests were moved to the East Village and stolen the next day. Sajak had to break the news to medical personnel in Ukraine. You can hear missiles flying or the alarms going off, and you're telling them a story from America, from New York, that should not have happened. This should not have happened at all. News 4 has learned the NYPD Major Case Squad tracked the stolen vest to Brooklyn through video, but they have not found the vest yet. Police say these are the guys who may have had a role in taking the vest. Right now, thousands of dollars are being offered for any information leading to an arrest. If you recognize the men in those photos, in those videos, you are asked to call police immediately. We're live in the East Village. I'm Mark Santia, News 4 New York. Okay, Mark, thank you. And in the meantime, the race is on tonight to rescue hundreds of Ukrainian civilians still trapped in a heavily bombed steel plant in Mariupol. Russian forces are continuing their assault despite strong Ukrainian resistance. About 300 civilians are bunkered in that plant, along with members of the military. The U.N. has established a human corridor to get people out, but it could take days before we learn if it worked.